You think Kanye needs millions more dollars? No, I don't think so. Fine. But while you're on a roll, you just keep on rolling. I know, right? I never knew I ne needed a scented pine cone, but <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently I do. Hey, 2020 high school grads in Florida got a big old surprise when Dwayne The Rock Johnson posted a special message just for them. You guys are the ones who are going to normalize equality. We're going to build the pathway. That's my accountability. Myself and others. We're going to build that pathway. You guys are going to make sure that it happens and that it stays that way forever. Because right now we are doing things at this critical time that uh, we are defining our country's, we're defining our country's future. Always put your money where your heart is because it's your heart and your mana will always be your North Star. So follow that. Your heart, your mana, and your instinct will always be your North Star. So follow so The Rock spoke Thank directly to grads from Pompano you, Beach High School for more than 12 uh, minutes. He posted the video bucks. that you're seeing on Instagram. So how'd this happen? Well, he got what he calls an incredible letter from the senior class president and valedictorian. Her name is Lorraine Angelakos. She wrote him saying, we need leadership. And she even enclosed $7 as down payment for The Rock's services. So why seven bucks? It's a symbol of the amount of money that The Rock had to his name when he first started his career. So he was he said he was just so moved by this amazing story. A high school grad from Illinois is getting some attention right now after she made a coronavirus themed prom dress out of tape. Look at this 18 year old Peyton Manker, who's from Sparta, Illinois, used 41 rolls of duct tape and spent nearly wait for it. 400 hours over several months to create this masterpiece of a dress you see here. The dress is covered in coronavirus related pictures, comes with a flatten the curve face mask, which you see there. There's an arm bouquet made from toilet paper rolls. Uh, there's also a hair piece that says separately together. What you're seeing is an anklet that says this too shall pass. Peyton made the dress to enter a duck brands contest to try and win 10 grand for a college scholarship. By the way, they're going to announce the winner of that contest July 21st. I think she's got a pretty good shot. We all know having your kids at home all the time can be very draining, but how much would you shell out to ship them off to summer camp? How's more than a hundred grand sound? Apparently some New York parents are dropping up to 150,000 bucks on luxury summer camps for their kiddos. Hey, anything to get them out of the house, am I right? The company Embark Beyond is offering a slew of camp experiences at five-star resorts that are reportedly super private and wall off the outside world so it's safe from COVID. There are several camp experiences you can choose from, including different locations. There's like a 10 day stay at a ranch in Wyoming. Some activities include horseback riding, hot air balloon rides, ATV rides, go kart racing, on site chefs, of course, private jets to get the clients to the camp. Uh, I also read that a lot of well to do parents are sending kids to overseas camps where coronavirus is less rampant. So if you are so inclined and you got a big old wallet, you can just check out embarkbeyond.com for that. Do you do you even think that these kids realize how expensive this is and like how privileged they are? I mean, a hundred thousand dollars. I know when it's that was like the highest package. There are different packages maybe for like 80 grand at this maybe yeah. four and a half star resort. I think when you're raised that way, yeah, maybe some parents are telling them, hey, this is super expensive, but they're probably used to it. Don't yeah, you think they are? Heather, uh, what say what you? You've got to the summer camps where you just go there and <laughs> eat paste the whole time. I mean, like whatever happened to that? Like we can't even do that this summer, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, all right.